Hi, this is Zach from Warner Wound. Today we'll be taking a look at the Orient Bambino model ER24004B, which is uh, the model with a stainless steel case and a black dial. Uh, we'll call it the Bambino from here on out. Uh, now, if you uh, know anything about affordable uh, mechanical watches, chances are you're very familiar with the Orient brand. Uh, like Seiko 5, they make, uh, it's a Japanese brand that makes uh, in-house caliber mechanical watches that almost all cost under a thousand and in the case of the Orient Bambino cost a mere two hundred and sixty dollars but that's before the inevitable thirty percent coupon that you can get from Orient so this is actually an under two hundred dollar uh, mechanical watch with a uh, great detailing a great kind of fifties uh, look to it and a uh, you know really really well achieved uh, aesthetic good build quality um, it's actually just a very exciting watch especially for the price so uh, let's take a closer look the case and crystal of the uh, Orion Bambino are quite striking and really you know, do a, a good job to bring a kind of uh, uh, mid 20th century aesthetic. Uh, it's a it's a 40.5 uh, millimeter case by 46 millimeters, about 46 millimeters lug to lug, um, and it's about 11.8 or 12 millimeters thick. Now you can see it, it actually has very interesting proportions, which is uh, something I find kind of very interesting about this watch. The central case of it is actually quite thin, only about four millimeters thick. Uh, the case back then comes out about another four millimeters, and the rest um, is all this beautiful domed mineral crystal. Uh, I personally, I'm a big fan of domed crystals, and usually ones this dramatic are, are made out of acrylic, um, which we've seen on watches, you know, ranging up, you know, close to $1,000 and, and more. Uh, but in the case of this, this Orient, it's actually a mineral crystal, so it's more scratch resistant. Uh, and it's just a beautiful detail that really um, is, is just very striking. Uh, and then the case itself has a very kind of a classic design, uh, you know, straight cylinder shape with these uh, relatively short lugs coming off of it. Uh, the lug width is uh, 21 millimeters, which uh, I'll talk more about when we get to the straps. Um, Three o'clock, you have a little crown. It is uh, signed with the uh, Orient emblem here, uh, which is always a great detail, especially on a watch in this pricing. Uh, in terms of finishing, the, all the top surfaces are polished. The side is uh, very lightly brushed uh, in one direction. Um, once again, it's nice. It breaks up the sheen of the watch. This is a nice detailing, uh, good finishing. Uh, and then looking at the case back, very simple, stainless steel screw down case back. It has this kind of interesting uh, kind of chamfered uh, shape to it, it slopes ever so, so gently towards this flat central surface which has an etched in Orient logo, water resist, uh, and a bunch of serial numbers. Um, overall, I mean like I said, it really gets this, this aesthetic across uh, of the mid-century, you know, it, the, the dome dial and just the shape. Uh, the only real difference, and granted it is a large difference, is that it's so much larger. 40.5 uh, millimeters would have been uh, really a jumbo watch back then uh, where watches ranged more from 34 to 38 millimeters but in doing so it made it a much more contemporary style. Similar to the case the dial uh, also really sings of kind of a 50s aesthetic. Uh, the, the, the face is uh, black, it's not a matte black, it's not quite full gloss or mirrored, it has kind of a satin finish to it and uh, as you can see the kind of light passing over it, it too is domed uh, which is uh, a feature and a detail that I, I really like, I think it does a lot for the aesthetic and it's once again something you really don't see very often uh, on contemporary watches and especially uh, particularly affordable watches. So it's not like a true dome, like a, like a half sphere, but rather it, it slopes down from kind of the edge of these markers down, uh, you know, lower and then the center is kind of flat. Uh, so now looking at the edge of the, of the black dial, you have uh, little white tick marks going around for minutes. Uh, or individual seconds, and then each of the hours is marked with an, an applied stainless steel, uh, like trapezoidal marker. Uh, has you know once again the aesthetic is is really nice there. They're very clear, um, very attractive. Then the hands too are polished uh, stainless steel. These are uh, Dauphine style hands. That's the shape, and they have actually a little bit of dimensionality to them. Which you can see uh, there's a line running down the center, and then there's you know they kind of slope out from there. Uh, the second hand and the minute hand actually also bend down uh, with the dome of the dial a little bit. Once again, that's just very visually appealing. At 3 o'clock, you have a date here, a date window, and uh, it's white with black. So it does stand out a lot. It might be a little bit high contrast for some. Uh, 
it, it actually doesn't bother me on this. I think it kind of works once again with the, with the retro aesthetic. At 12, you have the Orient logo with the uh, Orient emblem here, which is uh, two lions on either side of shield. Uh, that's kind of a foil printed, so it has a little bit of a glimmer to it. And then down here, you just have water resist written, very elegant uh, script, which I uh, like a lot. And at the very, very bottom, it says Japan movement, indicating that this is indeed um, an, auto an automatic that is made in Japan rather than outsourced. Uh, now, a little bit about the movement. It's uh, <coughs> An Orient caliber 48743, which is a 21 joule automatic that uh, beats at 21.6 beats per hour. Uh, it's non hacking and non uh, uh, hand winding. Uh, it has two crown settings. First, uh, changes the date, and second, changes the time. Uh, it's a very responsive uh, movement. Uh, it feels very nice. I've had no issues with the accuracy of the time or power reserve, which is approximately 40 hours. Taking a look now at the Orient Bambino on the wrist, uh, it sits very comfortably at the 40.5 millimeter size and the 46 uh, lugs. Uh, once again, I have a seven inch wrist, so that's not that large, and this, this is definitely a comfortable size. Uh, the retro aesthetic, I think, looks really great. Uh, even though, you know, like I said, this is oversized for a watch from that period, but uh, in terms of detailing, it really is spot on with the domed crystal, the Taufine hands and such. Uh, it has a 21 millimeter lug width. Now, this is kind of annoying, I have to say. Um, 21 millimeter straps are not something you come by normally. Most stores don't sell them, so you end up, if you want to switch straps, and we'll show you to you on some other strap options, you, I, my preferred method would be to take a 22 millimeter strap and cram it in there. But now just taking a look at the strap that Orient sends it on, it comes in this black uh, faux croc pattern uh, leather strap that's uh, kind of a, has a gloss sheen to it. It's almost a patent leather. Uh, I think they're trying to play up some of the more kind of formal uh, kind of dress elements of a watch like this, um, which is nice. It's, it's uh, not personally how I'd wear it that often. There's a lot of black here, and I think it might be a little heavy. But the strap itself uh, is actually quite comfortable, and it's in a, in a decent quality. Uh, you can see it has an Orient sign buckle here. Um, yeah, and I'll show it to you in some other options, some other colors, uh, such as a, a nice uh, honey brown. For a, a very different option that offers a lot of contrast and, uh, in my opinion, more of kind of a, a daily wear uh, type of color uh, combination, I tried here on this crown and buckle uh, 22 millimeter honey calf strap with uh, a gator pattern on it. Uh, and what I really like about this, you know, I personally don't mind mixing brown and black. Um, you know, I think it opens it up in terms of what you can wear it with and also makes it a less formal look, more of a kind of a, of a smart, casual look, something that's very easy to wear in an office setting. Um, what's great about this strap is that it's, as you can see, it's very bright orange and that works really well with the black. It's not too close of a brown. You know, I'd be careful putting like a dark chocolate brown with this uh, black because that could uh, clash a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's also just a you know, very comfortable strap and wearing it like this, you know, I mean, this has very quickly become a, a watch that uh, I could see wearing daily. One of the fun things about the Orient Bambino and having a kind of this 50s aesthetic is that you can put uh, kind of a multicolored striped NATO on here and really get a very preppy look, which, which may or may not work for you, but I figured I'd show it to you because um, I think it's kind of fun and a, and a different, uh, definitely casual alternative to a leather strap. Uh, here we have it on a 22 millimeter five stripe uh, NATO, also from Crown and Buckle. And I think the mix of colors really kind of makes it, you know, more fun, maybe a little bit more sporty, uh, definitely a lot more casual. Uh, something to wear with t-shirt and shorts uh, and it's just a you know it's a cool look it gives a adds a lot of variety to this watch and once again this is a watch that costs you know almost under two hundred dollars so. so to wrap everything up the Orient Bambino is um, honestly one of the coolest watches I think we've come across in the price range uh, at, it's, it's a $260 watch, but Orient always has these coupon codes available for 30% off. At the time of writing this, uh, summer 2012, for example, if you enter that at uh, checkout, would get you 30% off. But there's always coupon codes around the Orient Watch USA website, so just, just keep an eye out for those. And then that brings the watch to $180. So for under $200, you're getting a very, very well-made Japanese mechanical watch with really uh, wonderful aesthetic, uh, really, you know, sings of the, of the 50s uh, and the kind of, you know, 
mid 20th century. It has some uh, really remarkable details on it. I'd say uh, most notably the very oversized domed mineral crystal and the domed dial. Uh, it's well built. I mean, the you know everything fits well. Nothing's loose. The movement uh, keeps good time. Has a good power reserve. Uh, it has everything you look for in a watch of any price, but like I said before, it's an extremely affordable watch. Uh, so if you're looking for something with a kind of vintage aesthetic, uh, something that, you know, uh, is maybe a little bit, you know, it's casual, but has some formal qualities, you could wear to work, you could wear out to a, a nice meal, or frankly, you could just wear all the time, uh, this is definitely a watch for you to consider. Um, yeah, all in all, we definitely uh, think this is a great watch. Uh, thanks for viewing. Uh, come back for more. Uh, check us out on Tumblr, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. And uh, thanks a lot. Bye.